Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Checking in on the commodity space. If you've been watching these weekend update videos on commodities, you know we've been watching the weekly time frame and the monthly time frame for the longer term setups. So what we're looking at right now, we can see the dollar is defending the weekly 12 period exponential moving average. And that's really been the case for months. You can see even though we've dipped well below it twice, we've closed right above it. One time we closed back here just below it, but a quick recovery. And other than that, we keep bouncing off of it and holding it. So that's just a visual guide that I'll keep an eye on. And I will make note of a shift if we do lose that. Anything on the weekly above 96.75 kept the uptrend intact. And we have a tightening daily range forming, but it ended on a bearish note Friday. So I got the high, the low of the pullback, our lower high was set on Friday at 98.10. And now the question is coming into this week, are we going to break 97.15 and then confirm the downtrend? So that would be a lower high and a lower low, changing the daily trend. And that would have a zoom out to the weekly time frame and look at the key weekly support of 96.75. So we can lose the daily uptrend while still maintaining the weekly uptrend. But best case scenario for the dollar bulls would be to hold 97.15 the first couple days of this coming week and at least stay in this tightening range to give the bulls a chance for a bull break into continuation. So first things first, if we lose the daily uptrend this coming week, we zoom out to the weekly. If we lose the weekly uptrend this coming week, we zoom out to the monthly. And the monthly time frame, anything above 95.03 keeps the uptrend. So again, just keep in mind that if you are bullish gold, that's fine. Just have an exit plan because right now the dollar is in an uptrend on the monthly, the weekly, the daily time frame. And until that changes, gold bulls are going to really struggle to get any kind of significant momentum in my opinion. And all you have to do is throw up those charts, compare gold to the dollar and see the inverse correlation between the two, how strong it is and how unlikely it is that the gold bulls can go anywhere without seeing dollar weakness. So looking at gold, bulls did a good job of holding their own support this coming or this previous week, I should say. We had our low, high of the bounce, double bottom, and we held that support level by one penny or we lost it by one penny. That's a double bottom. And now we're looking up at 1288.58 this coming week. That would be the first daily trend change that we've seen since we started pulling back on the bear break of 1300. And if we change the daily trend, that will obviously mean that it's likely that the dollar has lost its daily uptrend. We would then need to zoom out to the weekly chart and say that anything under 1310 is still a weekly lower high. And as far as the monthly time frame goes, we're in an equilibrium still looking for the monthly higher low to form. And our visual target was in the mid 1200s. We dropped down to 1266. So it's entirely possible that our monthly higher low has been set, but in order for the bulls to start proving that to us, we need to change the daily trend, we need to change the weekly trend, and then we will look for this monthly multiple year equilibrium to break sometime, I would say in Q3, Q4 of 2019. Probably Q4, but no need to try and guess timing when we can just take it one day at a time. So when you look at these miners, again, look at the weekly time frame for gold and what it's done the past couple of weeks but you look at these miners and they are much weaker the last month on increasing bear volume we pulled back very significantly and right now we're looking at for the senior miners here gdx we're looking down at the lows of january as the support that we are approaching and if gold were approaching the lows of january well it actually is so that does line up so we are near the lows of january on gold just like we are on these miners let's look at the monthly time frame for these miners not the minute time frame, we want the monthly. So the monthly chart, the bulls have to form a higher low. If we're going to try and get this monthly change, we had a weekly, or I should say a monthly equilibrium tighten up, get a clear bear break and a solid recovery to change the monthly trend to favor the bear, the bulls. We need a higher low compared to 1728 and a bull break of 2370. That would be a very bullish development if it were to take place. And that would align, in my opinion, with gold breaking 1346 and getting its own key bull break of this monthly equilibrium. Checking in on the junior miners, a bit weaker. Again, as always, this 
This pattern has been very consistent for the past year plus. If you are looking bullish in miners, you're looking at the senior miners. If you're looking bearish in miners, you're looking at the junior miners because they consistently see weaker action and further pullback than the senior miners do. So on the monthly time frame here, again, we're looking for the higher low compared to 25.91, and then we would need a break of 35.04 to see a monthly trend change. And with where we stand right now, these junior miners need to go 23% to get to that resistance level. And just looking at where the senior miners are, and we would have to see a move of 15%. Again, huge difference, more than that, about 16, 17. But again, huge difference between those two and we will likely see a bull miner bull break before, I should say a senior miner bull break before a junior miner bull break. So just keep that perspective in mind. Always worth watching how they are trading related to each other. But this has been a very consistent setup for a long time at this point. Oil on the weekly time frame. Actually, let's start with the daily. So the daily chart confirmed the downtrend this past week with a lower high and lower low, which means zoom out to the weekly and look for a weekly higher low to form. The bulls have tons of space. 54.50 is our last higher low. Anything above that level keeps the bulls in a weekly uptrend. Keeping in mind that we are looking for a monthly equilibrium to form in this setup. We have our high, low the December dump. The question is, have we topped out and is this our monthly lower high? I need to see a weekly trend change to be confident that that monthly lower high has been set. And at this point, it's not likely that we're going to see a drop of another 12% after already consolidating a bit to lose the weekly uptrend. In my opinion, the most likely scenario if we were going to lose this weekly uptrend would be to pull back, form a weekly high or low, staying in the uptrend, try to see continuation, reject from the high of this move of 66.58, and then lose the weekly uptrend. So I think the bulls have enough space to work with that they can form another weekly high or low before the potential of losing the weekly uptrend. And in that scenario, that would give us our monthly lower high, and we would then look for a monthly higher low to form in the mid to lower $50 range, and for this monthly equilibrium to be significant heading into the second half of this year and probably Q4 2019 as well. This is why I keep watching these commodities on the monthly time frame, longer term, because I do believe that we have some nice longer term setups at play here, and I'm going to be looking to get active in the commodity space when these longer term patterns do break. But if we were to get you know, a gold equilibrium shaping up for a monthly break in Q4 2019. And if we were get going to get oil pulling back for a higher low and then a monthly equilibrium break in Q4 2019, that would be a lot of action in the commodity space. Just something to keep an eye on as it does develop. And for the bulls to change the daily trend back in their favor, anything under 63.28 is just a lower high. So we're not close to changing the trend with where we stand right now. So anything under 64.73 is a lower high. And our current support after the daily inside bar is down at 60.93, and there's not a ton of support in this area, we'd be looking back at previous resistance now support around $60 if we do see another leg down. Natural gas. So natural gas needs to form a daily higher low to try and change this trend. We saw a nice little bounce, but it was more of a slow fade up. We didn't really see any trend change at this point. So we have our low. We have our high of the bounce of 2596, and now the bulls must form a higher low compared to 244, and then break 2596 to give us this higher low and higher high. That would be a clear trend change on the weekly, or I should say the daily. The weekly time frame, we'd then be looking for anything under 264, make that 272. Anything under 272 would be a weekly lower high, and we have to see a weekly trend change for the momentum to really begin shifting. But as we do pull back here, it's the potential for a bottom fishing play with that 2442 support and looking for that daily trend change. A little bit of a high risk, high reward trade. Personally, I'm not going to be looking to take that, but it is the current setup where the pullback is pretty healthy at this point and the bulls are staying within proximity of that resistance, potential to see that break this coming week. So that's where we stand overall, continuing to monitor what the dollar is doing in relation to to gold and how that setup is playing out on the monthly longer term time frame, continuing to watch oil on the monthly chart and how the weekly higher low forms, which we are going to anticipate. And we will continue to check back in. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you soon.